What's going on YouTube? K-Rob here, back with another Jujutsu Kaisen manga readings, chapter 206 to 212, bro. Thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all been showing me on this channel and on this series, bro. I highly appreciate every single one of y'all. In the last Jujutsu Kaisen manga reading video, y'all said literally to go from 206 to 212, bro. So I was like, you know what? I'm down for it. Let's get into it, you feel me? It might take me a minute to get this video up because I got to edit it down and everything like that. But trust and believe, bro, this video will be up. You'll know this video is up because you'll be watching it right now. You feel me? But thank y'all so much. And without further ado, let's jump right into the manga. Reading. All right, y'all. We got chapter 206, Star and Oil Part 2. Dismantle Kenjaku's domain? Kenjaku's goal is the tomb of the star where my main body is. You two will take him on in a room of the interconnecting maze directly above this place. Jiu-Jitsu Tech, Curse Warehouse, Tomb of the Star. Oh, wait, am I tripping or is this the same spot that was in Hidden Inventory? The Tomb of the Star, because like the graphics look familiar, but I don't know if this is the right spot. Kenjaku expands his domain against Sukumo, but Tengen and Sukumo already have a plan? Oh yeah, Kenjaku did pop his domain. Each room is a Sunyata barrier. Anyone skilled with barrier techniques can configure its structure to some extent. A sorcerer of Kenjaku's level should be able to configure a theater as he pleases. Isn't that bad for us? The important thing is that Kenjaku thinks that. He needs to think that he's comfortable in here, that he has the upper hand in this space. That way, he'll stay within the barrier. But ultimately, the Sunyata barrier is mine. That's why, start the fight inside the Sunyata barrier and get him to expand his domain. As its owner, all information within the barrier is visible to me. I will analyze Kenjaku's domain and insert a configuration that neutralizes the domain's vector parameters through the Sunyata barrier. Oh, I don't really get it. Are you saying we can negate Kenjaku's domain with that? Yes. How long do you need? About 10 seconds. So in those 10 seconds, I need to have a domain battle with Kenjaku using a simple domain instead of my domain. That way I won't burn out my curse technique. Wait, if I expand my domain first, it'll force Kenjaku to expand his. Wouldn't that be faster? Even if my curse technique burns out, there's still Chozo and Garuda. That won't work. If you do that the domain's exterior will belong to your domain your domain will be erased before kenjaku's will and to counter your domain kenjaku might elect to use simple domain or hollow wicker basket to preserve his curse technique using these tactics against a real domain is just buying time am i underestimated that much i've said it many times kenjaku is one of the exceedingly few users who can match me on barrier techniques even his simple domain isn't on the same level as that of other sorcerers dang what type of person is this kenjaku dude I Bro, I want to know the history behind Tengen and Kenjaku. Like, what the heck? So we're back to getting Kenjaku to expand his domain so I can dismantle it. Then in the time his curse technique is burnt out, I'll beat him up. Miscalculation. Domain expansion. All enveloping Garp Hatu. This domain is like the one Sukuna showed in Shibuya. Expanding a domain and activating his curse technique in an unclosed barrier. An amazing feat. The exterior that needs to be dismantled doesn't exist. New shadow style, simple domain. Oh, here we go, hold on. Yo, shit. How is this barrier so strong? This simple domain is about to be ripped apart. Did you really think something of that level could withstand my domain? <laughs> Hurry up, Tengen! Oh, I see what you're doing. Just the kind of outdated strategy I expect from that shut-in. Treating the edge of the sure hit effects range as the exterior. Together with my Sunyata barrier, I will erase it. Tengen, I'm not the same as you. I have lived through. The simple domain was completely ripped apart. This thousand year tug of war between feuding giants, the capricious alliances and betrayals of this world of curses. <laughs> Bro, what is about to happen? Dude. Oh my goodness! Yo, Yuki! Dude, look at her face! Yo, she got slammed into the ground. No, that gravity, that gravity kicked in, boy. Oh my goodness. You dismantled my domain together with the Sunyata barrier? You're really as stubborn as you are old. But it's already too late. Oh. Yo. Dude! Yuki! Wait, yo. If you'd at least use your own domain against mine, the result wouldn't have been this boring. My man just dropped the mic on her. Like, what? Yo. Well, your fault for trusting that thing. Tengen has kept something important from all of you. The culling games. The Shikigami didn't disappear. Oh, she's still alive? <laughs> Yo. Okay, Yuki. Yeah, fight back. Hold on. <laughs> still conscious? 
but she's not in a position to move freely. Reverse curse technique, it's likely she can use that. She's probably utilizing the Shikigami to buy time in order to heal up. That's fine. I'll use this time to recover my curse technique then. Yuki, hold on. Dog, nah, she's a dog, bro. She's a dog. Heal yourself. Hell no. <laughs> yes. Hold on, Yuki. Let's go. Bro, she looks like a demon here, bro. Nah, she looks insane. She looks sick with the blood all over her face like that. Nah, that's hard. That's, that's hard. She's fighting for real, y'all. She is fighting. Oh, got her puking up blood. Nah, she's going, she's pushing it. At her limit? I suppose you wanted to catch me off guard, but you should have used your brain a little first. Did you forget? I like a man who's hardworking and muddy. An older brother lies in ambush. He aims his attack with determination. Bro, I was about to say, bro, Chozo gotta be around the corner somewhere, bro. He gotta be around the corner just waiting, bro. He's waiting for that ambush. You know it ain't Jujutsu Kaisen without Jump Kaisen, bro. I'm just telling y'all that right now, bro. This is crazy. All right, y'all, chapter 207, Star and Oil, part three. It doesn't matter as long as he dies for the sake of my mother's curse, which makes up half of me and my brothers, and also for Yuji's future. Fine. But at least listen to our plan first. <laughs> Look at Chozo's face. Chozo suddenly appears in Tsukumo's moment of need. His plan is... I see. You're going to dismantle his domain. That's why I will need your help for the later stage. But wait. It's still better for me to go out alone first. Domains are strong. But expanding one will burn out the user's curse technique. The trade-off is it's hard to use curse techniques for a bit. I imagine you and Tengen want to target that gap. But if he's expecting an ambush from me, won't Kamo Noritoshi just not expand his domain? Oh. <laughs> we need Kamo Noritoshi to defeat me once, so he'll fully believe that it's a one-on-one -on -one fight between me and Tsukumo now. Oh, that's smart. Yo, here we go. Oh my god, dog. This is crazy. So heavy. Yo, point blank piercing blood is actually insane, y'all. Are you watching, my little brothers? It's parent killing time. I thought he was gonna say something cooler than that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what? Wait, he popped the top of his head off, bro. Don't sweat it. The next spin boxing trick that made his skull cap spin and mitigate piercing blood. Things are getting interesting, fallen warrior. Bro, he tied it back up. That's disrespect, bro. But <laughs> luckily, her injury lessened the output of Bombay. Otherwise, that would have been dangerous. But if he resorted to that kind of trick, doesn't that mean we've got him cornered? Yo, bro. This is crazy, y'all. Bro, the drawing of Yuki here. During this whole sequence, this whole fight, bro, looks amazing. Looks oh! Gotta recover Bombay's output. Sukumo, heal up! You've been a big help, Oni-chan. <laughs> he got out in the brief moment Bombay was weakened because I was operating reverse curse technique. Garuda! Bro, they are they are scrapping. They are, bro, look at this. Yuki is such a dog, bro. I love Yuki's character now, bro. Like, I loved her character before, but seeing it now, like, more in the manga, I wasn't familiar with her game, bro. I see it now, dog. I see it now. And Chozo, too. I can't forget about Chozo. Chozo, he definitely got that dog in him. Wait, bro, his curse technique came back. Shit, 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 shit. His curse technique recovered already. Dude. Oh, my goodness. Nah, they got my man Kenjaku sweating. He's pissed now, bro. Look at his face. He's pissed. He is pissed, y'all. Six seconds. The technique's effective range has a radius of two to three meters around the sorcerer for six seconds. Then he fills the cooldown interval. Oh my, bro, what's about to happen, y'all? I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know if I want to keep reading. I'm scared, bro. We're only like two chapters in with cursed spirit manipulation. But against me, that won't buy you time. I can win. Oh, come on, Yuki. Let's go. Come on. Reverse curse technique in his domain chipped away his cursed energy. And with Oni-chan, we weaken his body. Gravity isn't as flexible as I thought. If that's the effect of range, then even if he uses it right next to me, I can build up a last minute dodge. I gotta attack. A chance like this doesn't come twice. No. No. Oh. 
my goodness. A mini Uzumaki? The fact that your weight doesn't seem to change when you use Bombaye means that even if the density increases, your durability doesn't. I screwed up. Sukumo! Direct hit. No fucking way, bro. No way, bro. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. All this, all that, just for this? All right, y'all, chapter 208, Star and Oil, part four. Aren't you a necessary part of Itadori Yuji's future? What do you mean? Just what I said. You can sacrifice yourself for your little brother's future. But is there really a point if you're not in that future? Sukumo, am I human? My little brother's incarnated, I realize. Their abnormal bodies meant humans would never accept them. That's why I decided we should live as curses. That's why I killed people in Shibuya. I killed a lot of people. And it wasn't just people that I killed. The one who killed Iso and Kechisu was me. If I'd chosen to live as a human back then, my brothers wouldn't have had to kill each other. Why? Why then? Why did I... Why did I choose the easy way out, dude? Oh, Chozo. I didn't want to see. I didn't want to see them in pain from living as humans. Even though they weren't that weak, you can guess what happened next. Like some kind of divine punishment, Yuji appeared. Yuji who is in pain from living as a human. I'm sure our fate was for the four of us to fight together. But just because I wanted an easier life, Yuji was left alone. What? If you die, he'll be alone again. You're kind, Sukumo, but I can't. I killed a lot of people for no reason. I no longer have the right to live alongside Yuji. I swear, if Chozo dies, if Chozo dies this chapter, it's cooked for me, bro. This is all that's left. This is the last place where my life has use. It's here. Kamo Noritoshi. Did my man Chozo just form a Destructo disc? What the heck? Chozo, right here, right now, you have died as a curse. <laughs> so live on. Yo! Tengen! Why? This time, as a human. Bro! No way. Bro, Yuki gave him that chance to live that life, bro. Wow. Wow. Does a tear want to drop, bro? That is, that is cinema, bro. Wow. Wow, that's cinema. That will get me every time. That will get me every time. And what are you doing now, Tengen? What's so funny? What's with that face? Is that what you wish to look like? Almost as if you asked me what I'm doing. Wait, what? Yo? Sukuna? Oh! Yo, she still got that dog in her? All I need to do is distract you. Go die as a human. Wait, wh what? The mass adjusted by Bombay doesn't affect me, but only up to a certain density. Oh, she does not give up. Wait a minute. Density. If there's no limit to the amount of mass Bombaye can add, no way! A black hole? Black holes are extremely dense and their gravity is so strong that not even light, much less matter, can escape. It's said you could create one by compressing the entire Earth to a diameter of 2 centimeters. Yo, she just created a black hole? You control gravity, but aren't you thinking too small? Gravity, mass, time, it all boils down to... She just threw Buddy in the black hole? Whew! Gave me quite a scare there, honestly. Dude, he- Oh my god! He's still up! He's still up! Bro, he's still alive! How? Cursed technique reversal? Nah, those gravity from before were actually the technique reversal. The cursed technique engraved on Itadori Kaori was actually anti-gravity system. I used my body as a domain to raise the technique lapses limit on the activation time and unsteady the output. That improvisation was a gamble, but at least it worked. Had me sweating though. Whoa. This Kenjaku dude pisses me off, y'all. A self-destruction that would have triggered the whole world was held back by Tengen's barrier and her force of will. Or, I should say, it was thanks to that. What an exciting sideshow. Almost makes up for your boring life. Farewell, my friend. In the hands of a one-time friend, Tengen falls. No way, bro. He won. 
Kenjaku freaking won. I feel like I'm watching, I'm watching like Infinity War right now, bro. Like this man is Thanos. Like what is going on? All right, y'all, chapter 209, Offering to the Unknown. November 14th, 2018, late night. Let's turn back time to before Tsukumo's fight. Yo, I'm Kagone. Yo, I'm Kagone. Yo, I'm Kagone. Oh, they're entering the... Ah, they're entering, they're entering the Cullen game. American troops march into the colony to hunt for jujitsu sorcerers. That random transfer after entering a colony is not mentioned in the Cullen game rules. So unless they respond to the Kagone's questions, the transfer won't happen. It's more like a hidden rule of the Cullen game. Technically, isn't that a bug? Anyways, what do you think? Not bad. If it's here, then a bath that even Sukunasama will be satisfied with can be made. Oh, what the heck? Huh? Oh! Yo! That is crazy. Nah, they want their cursed energy, I remember now. They're not sorcerers? Good work, second place. Dang, I'm second place? Well, that was easy. I don't know much about this ESP and whatnot, but why is our mighty Lieutenant General so afraid? Guy's just a coward. Heard his wife's on his ass all the time. No, there's more to it. Yo, third place. Goodness me, can I be first place as a girl instead? Pretty please? You killed them? Isn't the objective to capture them alive? At worst, we just have to keep the brain intact, right? Grenades weren't very effective, and Tejas couldn't even penetrate them. Couldn't penetrate? You sure you didn't just miss? Was he wearing a leather jacket or what? I was hitting bare flesh, so even a 50 caliber bullet couldn't pierce through him. Haha, <laughs> no way. That guy got an ID from Krypton or something? Oh nah, not the Superman reference. What's more, he was a monster who could turn his head into a helicopter. Oh, a helicopter? A propeller? A propeller. Like the ones on the Osprey and the Chinook we took to get here. You can decide if you want to believe me, but my team's wounded, and my head was almost sliced to pieces. Holy shit! Point is, there's different kinds of these Jujutsu sorcerers. <laughs> there's the weaklings you've been taking captive, and there's the monsters we've been dealing with. I'm sure there's others beyond that. Yo, what is going on, bro? Huh? These guys are foreign. Soldiers? What country are they from? You can be certain that Kenjaku will drop a bomb when only the strong remain and then the culling game will have served this purpose. Oh, Reggie was right, bro. Is this what he meant? You want to pit the culling game players against armed non-sorcerers, that is, soldiers, so that it will stimulate the colony's cursed energy and conclude the preparation before merging with Tengen. That's about right, isn't it? Your plan, I mean. I give that guest 60 points. Besides, Tokyo and Sendai, it's true that the other colonies don't have enough cursed energy. As insurance, I sent military from other countries into each colony, but I'm not expecting it to be some exciting soldier versus sorcerer showdown. Putting aside the incarnated players, the awakened players will mostly have a hard time. Please clean this up. To begin with, even if there are strong awakened types, many aren't willing to kill. As for the soldiers, once casualties mount, they exercise caution and retreat. And since non-sorcerers are worth fewer points, players won't chase them without a good reason. I see. Figured it out yet? When you had the military move at night, I thought it was just to give the soldiers an advantage. Even non-sorcerers release a large amount of cursed energy at the moment of death. Does that hold true for humans from abroad as well? Wait. That's right. Even though foreigners have no connection to cursed energy, it's a different story when they die. Death inflicts just enough stress to induce mutation in a dying brain. So from the start, you had no intention of pitting the sorcerers against the soldiers. Well, it wasn't necessary. There's a truth non-sorcerers can't overcome no matter what. What is that? Oh my goodness. Yo. I released a large number of cursed spirits in each colony, and the night is their home ground. What the fuck? Kenjaku may be planning for cursed spirits to conduct a one-sided massacre of non-sorcerers. Why? If the cursed energy of the culling game players isn't enough to fill the colonies, it would provide insurance. Even so, why would thousands of ordinary people enter the colony? Maybe it's my fault. My popularity drives people wa- Oh my god, Takavo. Oh my god, this is not the time right. This isn't the time to joke around. Sorry. Yo. Oh, they caught up to them. <laughs> Man, Yuji kicks it like a, like a football. I'm dead. <laughs> Who are you? The non-sorcerers entering the colony are actually soldiers? They're not the JSDF. What's their goal? Are they trying to protect the humans in the colony? But why are they holding stun guns if- Oh, step. They shot at us, so it's not for protection. We'll just have to ask directly then. The hunt for jujitsu sorcerers begins, y'all. 
Oh my goodness, this is crazy, bro. This is this, not. Nah, this has turned into a whole different type of story, bro. Like the chain of events that has happened throughout these chapters, the plot is thickening. Like the plot just keeps plotting, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. That plan from Kenjaku is actually insane, bro. To send the soldiers in at night so they can be killed by the curses. And then like the deaths, like, bro. Oh my god. He's like a mastermind with this stuff, bro. It's crazy how he thinks. All right, y'all, chapter 210, Offering to the Unknown, part two. In a dark, abandoned house, everyone knew that wasn't our mother. Is this the angel's uh, story? I don't know the exact details either. I'm just a lowly peon after all. The cursed energy or whatever you guys use, I heard they decided to research it as an alternative energy source. He's Japanese. He's a local guy. In other words, he's a traitor. You, you quizzling? You just wanted to say quizzling, didn't you? Do kindly shut up. <laughs> so they're researching how to reach energy self-sufficiency by having their citizens produce their own energy, huh? It's more surprising this never came up in Japan. In the end, Jujutsu headquarters holds the reins of power in this country. Imagine that prideful bunch taking the initiative to popularize cursed energy. No way that's happening. No bliss obliged. Yeah, a concept like that could never survive in a country that emphasizes self-responsibility. So, Kenjaku used the prospect of a new energy source to bait an army of non-sorcerers into the colony and sacrifice them to the cursed spirits. The deaths of so many people will manifest enough cursed energy to fill the colonies. That will conclude the preparation before merging Tengen with the humans of this country. Bringing this many people to each colony? How's it even possible? It's Kenjaku, after all. A social butterfly who speaks with a forked tongue. It's likely that militaries from many different countries were dragged in. Did he intentionally complicate the culling game with all these rules so we would be distracted by this death game to realize this outcome? Let's save them, yo. Yeah, this man Yuji, bro. Yuji's ready, bro. <laughs> save the soldiers? Don't they want to kidnap us and mess with our bodies? Maybe they'll even do lewd things to us. But the preparation will be complete if we just ignore them. Tengen-sama and everyone in this country will be mashed into Dango. Man, I still don't get it. No. In Tokyo Kali's number 1 and 2, 50 sorcerers have already died in combat. Here in Tokyo number 1, there's already enough cursed energy. So what? I'm telling you, it's pointless. Whether or not you save the soldiers from the cursed spirits, the results won't change. Huh? Who's actually talking? <laughs> so what? Hana and I coexist together. Her risk or my risk. Don't drag her into pointless battles, but we weren't allies or anything in the first place, so we can do it ourselves. Chloe? <laughs> Don't order us around. I've never trusted any of you. Were you talking to Angel or to me? How disgusting. What the heck? Yo, humans as bait for cursed spirit fishes? Nah, this is crazy. What is going on in these colonies, bro? I'm a soldier. I've always been prepared to die. Someday, I might fall to the bullets of a terrorist. Someday, I might step on a landmine in a desert I don't even care about. Someday. 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 But this isn't right. I don't want to die like this. Yo, that's the worst way to die, bro. Getting hooked and used for live bait? Dog. This isn't like you, is it? You don't seem to mean what you said. Like when you said any of you. You meant Angel and Sukuna, didn't you? Everyone knew that wasn't our mother, but because the children who cried or fussed too much would appear, eventually people stopped talking about it. Later, I learned I'd been there for almost a year, until I followed the dog out. It had a fluffy white tail. Huh? The heck? There's a little girl out here all alone. She looks like she's five. She's all ragged too. Someone call the police. A Shikigami? Hey girl, you hungry? Wait, you're popular with the girls, huh? Wait, Megumi? Don't you ignore me? Wait, they met before? Jesus, you finally come for me. <laughs> bro, they recreated the painting. <laughs> what is going on, bro? It's all fate. I believe that one day I would meet you again. Little by little, I would become someone worthy of standing by your side. I will save people. Normally, you would care more about Karusu's feelings. After reuniting with you, the thought of Karusu becoming a replacement for Kugasaki scared me. Ah, uh, Kugasaki, bro. I hope she comes back, man. I really do, bro. Don't be stupid. I'll apologize later. You'd better. Don't you have something to say to me? The last panel is mine. Solidarity is born. Also, Takaba's here. Bro, Takaba, you. 
Sakaba, you a funny dude, bro. You a funny dude. You you the one that that's keeping the keeping the hype and the joy and stuff in this in this manga still, bro. I swear. All right, y'all. Chapter two hundred and eleven. Ripen. The preparation moves forward. The archipelago crosses to the other side. Oh snap, bro. Why does it feel like something bad's about to happen? Is it just the dry weather? Waiter from chapter twelve. Dang. That's a, that's a minute back, bro. Did the filter get cleaned properly? Not unless Onichan cleaned it. What was that just now? Dang, bro. The 16th noon. It'd be fine if the preparation was the only thing completed. But according to that guy claiming to be Itadori's big brother, Kenjaku has captured Tengen-sama. Chozo, where's Tsukumo-san? And left Jujutsu Tech in a terrible state right now. There's only one thing we're sure about. Kamo Noritoshi still lives. That's all I know, so... Tsukumo-san is at the same level as Yuda. She joined forces with the death painting in Tengen-sama, but still lost. We already knew it, but this serves as further confirmation that we can't defeat Kenjaku through conventional means. The only good thing to come out of this is that the back of the prison realm is still safe. She's so calm for what she's saying. In just a few days, Maki-san has changed a lot. What happened? Why hasn't the merger started then? I suspect sorcerers can reject the merger with cursed energy. Things look fine inside the colonies, but outside them, the merger has already begun. No, the news is reporting that some more vulnerable people have fallen ill, but overall, Japan is functioning as usual. We don't know why. Maybe the merger can't be started yet, or maybe he just doesn't want to do it yet. This isn't something we can figure out on our own. Let's focus on Sumiki Nichan first. Why haven't our senpai added rules yet? We already decided what rules to add, didn't we? One transferring points, two entering and exiting colonies, three outside communication, four withdrawing from the culling game. It's basically it. If a culling game participant's points don't change within 19 days, they will undergo curse technique removal. This removal involves some kind of brain alteration, so it's basically death. The goal is to force players to kill each other. We want to change point counts without killing each other, so we need a rule to allow transferring of points. Itadori already added this one. Wasn't me, it was Higuruma. The problem is two and three. The rules dealing with people and electrical signals entering and exiting colonies. Is there a problem? Right now, players can't freely enter or exit a colony. I can. Okay, why the heck is that possible? Well, it's not really me, it's Angel's curse technique. Does it work on other people too? That would be hard. Extinguishing a barrier technique with my curse technique amounts to extinguishing the foundation of the barrier. Without knowing where the colony's foundation is, only Hana and I can move through the colony's barrier. Of course, it couldn't be that easy, huh? Anyways, regarding 2 and 3, the culling game's rules never explicitly forbade players or electrical signals from going in or out. Are we talking about Kawamoto Makoto? What's up with that guy? Just ignore him. <laughs> the rules, the rules. Hey, you're right. In other words, it's like that random transfer, it's not a general rule of the culling game, but a rule of the barriers themselves. So even if we add a rule to allow entry and exit from the colonies, we might still get repelled by the barrier because of the barrier's rules. Is that why our senpai haven't added any rules yet? As for outside communication, we think using Ui Ui and Mei as messengers is enough for now. Hello sister, sis, I'm super duper tired. So our first priority is four. Let's start with allowing players to withdraw from the culling game. Yuda and the others already transferred the points to you, right? Yo, Kagone, add a rule. Players may withdraw from the culling game. Rejected. This rule conflicts with rule 7. Well, that's to be expected. A player may withdraw from the culling game by inviting a new player from outside the colony as a substitute. How about that? Rejected. Then how do we withdraw from the culling game? This is a proposal regarding the addition of a rule to the culling game. A player may withdraw from the culling game by inviting a new player from outside the colony as a substitute and spending 100 points. This is acceptable. That's no problem. We've got like 300 points, you dumbass. Wait. If it's just a substitution, then there will be no change in the number of players. But with that change to the rules, at least 20 players will have to die for those 100 points. Clearly, that suggestion is even more incompatible with the long-lasting effect of the culling game in Rule 7. Oh. A player may withdraw from the culling game by inviting a new player from outside the colony as a substitute and spending 100 points. This is acceptable. Looks like it won't accept any further negotiation, but it pretty much said so itself. The purpose of the culling game and its long-lasting effect are already in conflict. Okay, that's fine. A player has added a rule to the culling game. Rule 11. A player may withdraw from the culling game by inviting a new player from outside the colony as a substitute and spending 100 points. Maki-san, please bring Sumiki here into the colony for me. Hmm, what? Sumiki Nichan is already a player, but she's not in the colony, right? Then isn't it safer for you to transfer the points remotely and have her withdraw now? 
My brain hurts. No, that conflicts with rules one and two. Worst case, her technique will be removed and she'll die the moment she withdraws from the culling game. One, within 19 days of awakening a technique, a player must declare their participation in the culling game. Two, players who break that rule are subject to cursed technique removal. Ah, good thing you caught that. Weak players who hold points for a long time also risk being targeted by other players. It's safer to rendezvous with Sumiki first. Got it. But I can't enter the colony with her, since I have no cursed energy. A barrier can't recognize me, so the transfer will separate us. Even with cursed energy, we still got transferred separately when we entered. Even with cursed energy, we still got transferred separately when we entered. Better bring a parachute. <laughs> the 16th. 3 o'clock p.m. Ijichi-san, are you really going to enter the colony in my place? Shouldn't I do it myself? No, it's not a good idea to reduce the numbers of sorcerers outside the colonies too much. It feels like I'm watching a plea bargain from someone on death row. <laughs> I'd love to play along, but there's no time. Sumiki-san, you have to declare your participation within 19 days. Frankly, it's a miracle that things have progressed so far already. I can't drag things out either. Nita-san and other assistant managers can take care of things in my stead, so it should be fine. Besides, I might not look like it now, but back when I was a student, I wanted to be a sorcerer. Huh? Quit being a sorcerer. You're more useless than shit. Oh my dang, go chill. Hurry up and get a driver's license, the manual kind, okay? If you say no, I'll slap the shit out of you. How can someone be so tactless? At the same time, I think that saved my life. If Gojo-san hadn't said that to me, I would've become the half-assed sorcerer and died right away. Oh, ah, uh, huh, is that her? Her transfer hit the bullseye though. Oh, Megumi, thank goodness, that startled me. Yeah, Sumiki Nichan sure is lucky. Nice to meet you, thank you for taking care of Megumi. I'm Itadori. No, I'm the one being taken care of. Nice, I didn't have to do anything. This is Karusu. She's been keeping watch the whole time, just in case Sumiki Nichan fell out of the sky. Nice, Itadori raised my stock. <laughs> good, good. Let's finish up quickly. Kagone. Wow, he acts all cool in front of his family. Must be his rebellious face. So cute. Sumiki, you can use the 100 points I just gave you to withdraw from the culling game. Maki-san already talked to you about the substitute, right? Kagone. Add a rule. Please allow free entry and exit from the colonies. Huh? You. Who are you? Wait. Suddenly adding a rule? Just who is she really? Aja chapter 212 Fester. Megumi. Suddenly Sumiki adds a rule. Who is she really? What's her goal? Yo, how many years has it been? It doesn't feel like time has passed for me. A year and seven months, roughly. Really? No wonder walking feels so hard. Did you hear about the culling game? Yeah, and about Gojo-san too. Even though I always knew you two had a hard job. Seriously, don't worry about it. My friends and I will handle it somehow. Sumiki. You may as well sleep some more. Haha, <laughs> you haven't changed. Stubborn as always. Just a bit more. When this is done, Fushigiro will be okay. After this, Angel will erase Sukuna along with me. Gojo Sensei will be released from the back of the prison room. And then everything will be fine. Maybe this is how it should have been from the start. If only I had simply vanished after saving Fushigiro back then. Thank you. You gave me a role I was able to play. I've already received more than enough, so... Add a rule. Please allow free entry and exit from the colonies. Huh? Accepted. Rule 12. Players may freely enter and exit the colonies. After all, shouldn't we be able to choose our own battlefields? You. Who are you? Who... Who do you think? I'm your big sister! Fushigiro Megumi! Bro. An incarnated receives information about the modern era from the vessel's brain. That's why Chozo, Sukuna, and the incarnated players are able to function in the modern era. If so, reading the vessel's memories and impersonating the vessel should be entirely possible. Then why did I assume that Sumiki was an awakened player? Just kidding! Wait, what? Fushigiro, what's going on? Fushigiro! I am Irozu. Maybe the old guys still remember me. Why? This whole time! Weren't you the ones who told me about it? The culling game and your plan to withdraw from it. If I'm offered 100 points for free, of course I'll take them. My first battle in a thousand years. I want to choose the place and opponent. And of course, the first battle ought to be Sukuna. No way, bro. Toodaloo, I'll be waiting, okay? Dude, they just got played. They just got played, bro. Let's chase her, yeah! In chain. Wait, what? These are two conditions. First, when I chant in chain, you will lend me your body for one minute. And second, you will forget about this contract. Yo, Yuji, no! Whoa, it's a binding vow I made with that brat. I can't hurt or kill anyone within a minute. Sukuna? Why? Of course, what's next is a gamble. Wait, 
No way. What's he doing? What is he doing? Incredible! What a thoroughly foolish brat! A binding vow, not to hurt anyone, but he didn't even include himself. That was the vow that he made way back when, bro? When when Sukuna took out Yuji's heart and he like supposedly died? That's what happened and he came back to life? Was this was that the vow? With this treasure I saw bro, that boy that boy hit that, you feel me? No, nah. Maharagra, come on out! <laughs> Yo, no, my hand seal. Oh my goodness. Wait, is he about to do what I, no way, he just made him. Wait, yeah, cause that's technically his finger. So Megu, don't you remember? We'll be able to see something interesting. No way, Megumi. Didn't I say that, brat? Oh. Sukuna incarnates in Fushigiro's body. No way. It just got bad. It just got even worse. When you thought that it couldn't get any worse, it got worse. And that's why he pulled his finger off and fed it. Oh my goodness. I didn't even think that. I didn't even think he could just take off his finger and it would be just play a part as Wow, bro. That is actually insane. That's insane that that, that just happened. All right, y'all, chapter 213, Curse Room Under Heaven, part five. That day, what I sensed from Fushigiro Megumi was his curse technique's potential and his capacity to suppress me. It posed a problem if he turned out to be a cage, just like that brat, instead of a vessel. I could have just made Fushigiro Megumi swallow a finger, but to ensure full control over his body, I had to wait and recover my power in that brat's body until the right moment. The moment Fushigiro Megumi's soul shattered. Oh my goodness. And he's doing the little hair, bro. Oh my God, bro. This is crazy. So, so Itadori doesn't have it anymore. Like Sukuna is completely gone from his body. Now, it, like it's all Megumi now. Wow, bro. In a new vessel, a curse is reborn. So you're telling me now he has the ability to summon the Shikigami and like Maharagra and all that now? Is that what y'all are telling me? Dude, this, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad, bro. This is really bad. Fushigiro? Dude. No, Megumi. Megumi. No, bro. It don't even look right on you, bro. It, it don't even look like it, this, bro. It's not you, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Off the rip. Off the rip, dude. Yo. Just stay down, UG. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's bad. This is bad. Yeah, this is bad, bro. No matter which era, insects always spring up out of nowhere. Oh. He does, bro. He got the ability to, sh to summon the Shikigamis now, bro. This is bad, bro. This is bad. This is probably worse than being in Itadori's body, bro. Now he actually has something to work with, bro. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, dear. Unlike that, Brad and I, those two coexist with each other. So with Angel's help, she can recover faster from unconsciousness. Angel! Wait, Megumi. Megumi still... It's too late now. It's him. It's the Fallen. Before he takes further root into the body, we must tear the two apart and extinguish him. We need to take this gamble, please. And she can't do it because she... Oh my goodness, bro. It's the conflict now, bro. I see it now, the conflict, because that's Megumi and she knows Megumi as a little kid. So it's the conflict, bro. Oh, Hana, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you even gotta go through this. Oh, Radiance. Give him back. Radiance which purifies all things. Evil, sin, and misery. Extinguish them all. Guide them, O Radiance, to thy right path. Jacob's Ladder. Yo. Give him back! Yo. Bro. Dude, give him back! Megumi is mine! Hana, I remember now. Thank you. Everything's alright. Megumi. No! Hana! Megumi. Not yet! Hana! Have always. Never forget the true nature of a curse. goodness no bro this has just heated up so much well there y'all have it folks chapters 206 to 213 of jujitsu kaisen i gave y'all an extra one bro because these chapters were peak and it's gonna take me a minute to edit this but 
this needs to be shown bro like i have to edit this and get this out to y'all because this is peak bro shout out to y'all bro i highly appreciate every single one of y'all let me know in the comment section down below everything on these chapters bro i need to know some crazy stuff like stuff that i miss bro y'all know what to do bro let me know in the comment section down below bro if y'all did enjoy these chapters i need y'all to like share and subscribe bro because this wow what a reading today bro this was a this was a w reads bro w reads for real anyways y'all thank y'all so much stay cheerful Stay motivated and stay blessed, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Oh, my goodness. Peace. <laughs>